it's time to give you my two cents on Butternut AI, an AI website builder that can generate a website just by inputting your brand name and a description. Is it worth it, the lifetime deal or not? Let's go check it out right now. What's up, everyone? My name is George, and I'm going to give you the rundown on Butternut AI. Now, in all honesty, this is not going to replace a CMS like WordPress, Wix, or something else that is a website builder that can customize your website as much as you like. With Butternut AI, it can generate a website really easily by adding your business name and the description, and it will let you edit the website afterwards. So you can change the description, titles, buttons, images, and all that stuff, which is a really good idea if you want to build websites really easily and if you don't have any website building knowledge out there. Okay, so right now it's on lifetime deal, and this is the actual deal that you're going to get. So you get unlimited AI power content and image generation. And again, to be all, all out honest, the AI image generation is not all that good. And I'll show you in a bit, all right? So unlimited edits, generations, et cetera, free SSL, and you get no better not AI branding on this, okay? Now, in terms of the actual deal, tier one is $59, which gets you one domain. That means you build the website and you can tie that domain to your, to your custom domain and you have a live website, which is really good, right? And you get 10 gigabytes of hosting per website, which is a whole lot, especially for a website that's built with AI. And it's not a full out grown CMS out there. Like it doesn't have a store. It doesn't have, it's not full featured out there. Okay. 10 AI generated blog posts per month, which is eh, okay. 200 AI agent requests per month, which is okay. Now, if you jump into license tier two, which I think is a sweet spot, I wish they had these features on tier one, or at least in the middle for pricing but it's only on tier two, which is WhatsApp integration, which is not a big deal. But the custom code embedding is a big deal for me because if you have a chat, a support system, uh, whatever you wanna add via embed code, then you would have to grab license tier two. The good thing about it is that you get three domains and 100 gigabytes of hosting per site, and you get unlimited AI generation, etc. right? So the sweet spot is tier two, but I wish to add these features on tier one. So I hope the founder takes this into consideration and at least add the custom code embedding over here. But I think they're pushing for tier two and above, right? And if you need more limits, jump into tier three and all the way up to the bigger tiers, right? Okay, so Butternut also dropped on Product Hunt and it did really well. And that's the reason I'm making the video on this one because it has potential, okay? So Butternut, let's jump into my dashboard. I built a website for a coffee shop that I have but I'm gonna generate one brand new one right now just for you guys. So I'm gonna use one of my brand names, which is a 3D sign right here, and it's a 3D printer uh, business that I'm starting. So let me go ahead and give it a quick description. Here we go, the website has now been built. This is the home page, and it's still generating the other pages tied to this website. So it's gonna generate, generate all the pages for this website, and we can add more, okay? And one of the things I really dislike about uh, Butternut AI is that the images are not generated with the website. The content is spot on. I've been testing this and what it says is always spot on with the actual business. So I did one for the coffee shop. I did a previous one of this one also, and it always generated the content based on what I provided. So it has good content. Now I can edit all this by just clicking on the regenerate. If I want to just regenerate it with AI, I can do generate with comments edit this or I can hide this. Okay, so for example, if I want to regenerate this with comment, so that means uh, kind of a glitch here. Let's go ahead and remove this for now. Okay, so it's going to regenerate it, but without any comments. Okay, so I think it's a good idea if you give it a north of what the comment should be or the description based on your input in case it doesn't get it right, right? But if I need to edit this, I'll just click on the pencil button and I have the editing options for pretty much just changing what it says there or just kind of fine tuning something that it needs. Okay. So as of now, it now generated the, the service website for this. So check this out again with the content, but the images are not there. Okay. The contact us, the portfolio, the about us. So let's see what it says about 3D sign. And here it is, our inspiration, inspiration journey. Uh, meet our visitor, what? Our visionaries. Here it is, founder one, founder two, and so on and so forth with the details and all the way up to the footer down here. So you get all that. But what if I need to add a page? Well, I can click on this pencil button. I can add a page here, I can edit page, or I can edit the navigation bar. In this case, let's add a page and I get these options here. I don't get a custom page builder here. Okay? I only get these options because it's gonna do it via AI. So if I wanna create a frequently asked question, a page is gonna generate it for me and it will do it in a couple of minutes. So let's give it some time there. 
but while that's generating let me show you the theme changes which again i think this is pretty much basic they should really work on this to kind of change it up you get your light mode your dark mode you get your brand color you get your fonts you get a couple of fonts here you don't get the option to add custom fonts so i think this really should work on that okay so the frequently asked questions is now available and i feel like the dark mode that's why it's dark but it, it gets a spot on that's what i've mentioned i like the content that it generates i just wish they also implemented that in images now when it comes into images if i want to generate one it's not that great at all so if i want to gener regenerate it i can click on this and it'll regenerate an image here we go if i want to regenerate it with ai so that means that i can tell it what the image i want it to be so i'll just say 3d printers i'll keep it basic but even though keeping it basic it's not going to generate it as well see that i mean what is what i commented have to do with instagram so they really need to tweak the algorithm for the image generation right so i hope they work on that all right next i have the preview if i just want to preview this and i got the tutorial i can go back to the dashboard and now if i go into the editing section go back to the dashboard for i'll go into this one because i think it's going to give me an error because i only have access to one custom domain since i'm in tier one oh my bad i need to click click on settings so in settings i have my option to domain mapping that means i can link the domain so my custom domain is going to be pointed to this particular site so it shows the site it's, it's as easy as that you generate the website you tweak it you have it ready and you point it to the domain with your dns and you have a live website that's why i mentioned it's a super easy way to generate a website so if you don't want to go with some with a powerful cms like wordpress wix or something like that and you want to keep it simple this could be a good option okay now for the rest of the settings let's go back you got your subscribers so with the contact option they have available your contact boxes on the website it's going to add a subscriber list here and you can export the subscribers to add it to your email marketing service the seo settings for this go jump there now on seo website settings i think they need to work on this so you got your completed score here and then for each one of these pages for the meta description you can work on the title and description there's no tags here and i can't edit the image the thumbnail image for this particular uh, page so same thing goes with the rest of these unless i haven't found the option do tell me out there on the comments if i have, uh, if i didn't find that option okay then you got your custom data options here there we go no custom data analytics you need to tie this with google analytics for this to work and subscription plan well it's your your subscription plan details so it's pretty much straightforward building websites with butternut ai name brand name and description and you got your website just go ahead and edit the images or upload your own images and you should be good to go to make a live website in terms of speed i think they really need to work on that too so for example if i just go ahead and preview this website it's kind of not that fast so let's see this let's go ahead and run this on gt metrics just to really understand if it's fast or not so let's go ahead and analyze this and we are going to analyze it twice in case there's some cache going on there or some images that are being uploaded to the cdn so it loads faster so let's get a few seconds for this test to finish here we go we just got the results now first run is always going to be worse than the rest of the runs as i mentioned before because of the cache setting cdn etc if they're using cdn and they got a page speed of grade b and it loaded in 4.4 seconds which is uh, pretty bad okay so let's go ahead and retest this and let's see the results okay here we go we just got the results again and it performed a bit better so b and a score of well actually not the score score of b and it loaded in 3.3 seconds a bit better but not as fast so if i for example see my website that was built on wordpress that's super optimized it loads in i think one second or 1.5 seconds so big difference there so do consider that if you are going to use butternut ai for a live website that is not going to be the fastest out there but i mean if you're going to get this for a lifetime deal and they're going to take care of the hosting well it might get it be a good trade-off so do consider that if you want to build site websites really easily or if you want to have something more complex that has all the features like wordpress wix and something else out there then do consider those other options and that's the lifetime deal that's going on right now if you want to check it out link provided in the description and if you click on that link it helps me out with a small commission which won't cost you a single cent more than what it says there and it helps me out with a small commission and that's a wrap